Number eight then from this 2015 advanced higher maths. We've got two parametric equations here and you have to get dy by dx. That would be like the gradient of the actual curve in space where each point is determined by this single parameter t. First thing you notice is we've got two completely different functions here. So when you're working out dy by dx, they're not going to actually mix very well. It's a bit like oil and water. Well, I think first of all, I'll just write this as t plus 1 to the power of half. Then I'll start. So dx by dt would be a half of t plus 1 to the power of negative a half. I think I'll just write what that means. That's 1 over 2 root t plus 1. And dy by dx would be negative cosec squared t. Or you could change that into sine squared if you like. But the question just said, what's dy by dx? So it's a three marker, so that's probably one mark for each of those. Well, that would be dy by dt times dt by dx. So dy by dt is negative cosec squared. dt by dx is this upside down, so that's 2 root t plus 1. And then that would do, or any other combination that takes your fancy, put it to the front. Oh, maybe I prefer this because it looks a wee bit more concise. I'll put that cosec as a sine squared. So, there we go.